Today's video is sponsored by Joseph Kanyugi, a true patriot and a Kenyan nationalist at heart. Once upon a time, there was a woman called Angel. Now Angel was married to a man called Ronald. One day, Ronald discovered that Angel had been secretly visiting her old boyfriend and he got angry. But despite the anger, Ronald loved this girl very much so he decided he will forgive her. And he set a date and a place for them to meet and settle their differences. But when the day of meeting came, Angel showed up with one of the former boyfriend's friends to be her advisor in the meeting. Ronald could not believe his eyes. He was so angry that he called off the entire meeting and stormed off. The last thing that anybody saw, Angel was left smiling on that table. Now in this case, Angel is Awan Jalango, Ronald is Raila Odinga, and the friend to the former boyfriend is Tom Ojenda, Ruto's close ally. Literally, Jalango has been called to appear before the ODM disciplinary committee, and who has he chosen to represent him? He has chosen Tom Ojenda, one of the ODM rebels, to represent him in the discussions. In fact, here they are uh, before the day of the hearings preparing. Now at paragraph 27 you say that the advocates were expelled from the hearing on the grounds that you had not given them a formal letter of appointment. Was there a requirement, Mr. Jalano, under the ODM constitution that you are appoint an advocate through a letter. Are you aware of any provision under the constitution? No, to none whatsoever. Um, now in this video I want us to look into why Jalango is choosing a fellow ODM defector to represent him in an ODM hearing. But before we do that, if you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Wafula. Hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Now, why did Jalango select Ojenda as his legal representative? The first reason, just as Angel showed up to the meeting with the goal of spiting the husband, Jalango too wants to show ODM that there is no room for reconciliation. To him, from the time guns were drawn at Mazoni and he was roughed up by Ray Lodinga's bodyguard, he seems to have no interest whatsoever in any form of reconciliation. This is blatant and obvious sabotage by Jalango and it is designed to make sure that the talks between the two parties go nowhere. The last time I saw such a tactic being deployed actually was when Eden Kainan was included in the bipartisan talks to represent Kenya Kwanza. Yet, he is a member of Jubilee which on paper is part of Azimio. It's a very highly educated form of uh, disrespect. Now the second question is this. Why did Tom Ojenda rush in to represent Jalango when he himself has his own hearing date before the ODM disciplinary committee? It's simple. Tom Ojenda is going there to spite ODM. His motive and that of Jalango is not at all any different. They are there for the primary reason of clowning them. They already know that no matter what they do or say in those hearings, ODM will always reach the conclusion that they have to be expelled from the party. And so for the next four years, it's going to be a dogfight in the courtrooms. It's a bit of a repeat of what we saw happening to Aisha Jumwa. The time Aisha Jumwa defected to support William Ruto, Sifuna and the ODM regiment, they really fought her tooth and nail. They forwarded her name to the disciplinary committee. They followed the entire uh, party constitution, which led them to the decision of expelling her from the party. But that expulsion was halted in the courts. It's a bit of a back and forth. That's how it usually goes. There's nobody in this country since the 2010 constitution who has been successfully expelled from their political party. It has never happened. So I doubt Jalango or Tomo Jenda are going to be the first. Usually you get expelled, you go play your games in court, it becomes a court matter for an entire four years before you know it, we are back in the ballot. And that expulsion is now null and void because we are all going back to the ballot in any case. But either way, Jalango was out to spite ODM. I think they have shown him enough disrespect to the point he has decided as he is going to the discipline committee, 
<laughs> he is going to bring another ODM rebel who has defected to Kenya Kwanza to represent him in those meetings. I'm yet to see Edwin Sifuna comment on this or even Raila Odinga, but we'll be looking to see. We want to know, are they going to allow Tom Ojenda, who in their own eyes has also sinned, to represent another ODM sinner? Or because of this, will they just call off the entire meeting and say, this is blatant disrespect, we'll just move on to expel these people from the party? Do let me know your own comments in the comment section below. I'll do my best to read them and to give you a response. Now, in the event you're here for the first time, please go on and hit the subscribe button. And if you're watching from a different platform, just head on over to YouTube, search for David Ofula, hit the subscribe button, you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature. If politics is something you're passionate about, this is definitely the one channel that you really, really need to subscribe to. Alright guys, adios. Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adiós.